We are live. This is the McCain Mixer Show. It is Friday. It is 5.30 and it is time Ooh. to make cocktails. Yes. yes. Can't wait. So I'm here with, um, how would I describe you? Karen Powell. 5'8", dark hair, beautiful. Dark eyes. Oh, go on. <laughs> uh, life changer, Aww. game changer, Aww. impossibility coach. I think that that's my new I like that one, yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. I never, I never liked the word life coach. People mm -hmm. used to call me a life coach. I'm like, I'm not a life coach. Yeah. So I just grabbed creativity coach, but I think I like impossibility coach. Impossibility I like that. Coach. Yeah. Make impossible things happen. Yes. Why not? All of it, all yeah. the time. Oh yeah. I think, I mean, not that this wasn't impossible, but it's so weird. A friend of mine sent me a voice note a few weeks ago, and she's, she said that she had a dream about me being on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Oh. And so I feel like this is, like a step in that direction. I would say it's a step <laughs> up because <laughs> you're here with me. Come on, girl. <laughs> so, okay, you've yeah. spoken it. You've spoken mm -hmm. it into being. So Ellen will be calling you. I and can then, promise you. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just keep this on YouTube so that Ellen can yes. see it. Ellen, yes, Ellen, this girl, she's amazing. She is amazing. Ellen DeGeneres, Tanya Toripamuestro. Got to know her. Thank you. Got to know her. Thank you. I appreciate that. All the million things that you do, which we'll get into, I'm sure. Yes, we'll get into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we should do that now. But but first, mm -hmm. like, I mean, we're here with yes. McCain, and today we're going to be making um, some infusion drinks. I mean, it's Friday. Mm. And yes, I feel like Friday, five thirty. We need a drink. What do you right? do? Yeah. 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 It's been. Has it been a tough week? No, it no. hasn't. Because I am the ease and flow baby girl. Right. Remember. That's so true. I don't do tough, but we can talk about it if you want. Did you have a tough yes. week? Um, yes. Oh it, no. Um, Here's my shoulder. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Actually, no, I had an amazing week. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's also my birthday weekend. <gasps> When's your birthday? Yeah. On Sunday. Oh, yes. happy birthday. Early. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. So I feel like this is the, the perfect place to start that. Week. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to be mixing some drinks with McCain's new variant. This is um, this is so new they don't even have the recipe cards. That's that's how new this is. That's what we it's were told anyway. One hundred. It's so new. new. Yeah, so this is new. like hot off the press. Yes. But it's cold. It's cold and refreshing. Yes. I can't wait. And it's I love. I have an obsession with color, and so this is also it's an amazing color. Mm, it is. What would you call that? Is that teal? Or is mm, it turquoise? Maybe. No, that's not turquoise. I'm sorry. No. 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 no, no. Um, I would say that's like a metallic blue. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, like that. Turquoise has got a little green in it. Yeah. Mm. All right, we'll go with metallic. Okay. Blue. Yeah. Let's agree to disagree. How about that? Let's, that's a good way to start you. the show. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. All right. So I thought like we could get into how we met and. Yeah, just how the, how you mm. influenced my life no. because I think I mean that was almost what did we say the other day that was almost a decade ago? Yeah. 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 It was almost a decade ago. And yeah, so just a little bit of a, a backstory about how I know Karen is I was working in advertising and I loved it. I mean, it was super creative and I learned a lot and then I just felt like it's time to do my own thing. Mhm. Mm and then I heard about your work and what you do for entrepreneurs and creatives. Just this idea of working with the seemingly impossible to try and create the yeah. creative life that you want. Um, yeah, and I love starting with, you say seemingly impossible. Mm -hmm. I love starting with even saying it is impossible. 
Because right. it starts out impossible, right? Because mm -hmm. if you could do it, you would just do it. Yeah. So it feels, and I really, I respect that feeling, it feels impossible. So let's just call it impossible. And then it's fun to move it to possible, mm -hmm. probable, and then done, as you know. And you've done Perfect. so much in the 10 years, mm -hmm. in the last 10 years, and you just continue to go. That's why Ellen's got to get you now while you are like, just before everybody Perfect. else grabs you. Yes. yes. Oprah's yeah. going to grab you soon too. Oprah. Yeah. Okay, we'll put it out there. <laughs> but um, yeah, so should we, should we start mixing these and see? Um... We can, we can do that. Should we, should we talk about our question though? Because we've, yes. we've got a little, we got some prizes to give away today. Yes, prizes. We've got prizes. We have got some things, some gifts to give away. Mm -hmm. And, um, but you got to work for it. You got to, you know, things don't just come like easy all the time. Unless you're me, then they do. <laughs> abundance. Um, you got to like you, you, you know something in order to get these prizes, right? Mm -hmm. So we each have a question that um, you have to answer to get our yeah, prizes. So maybe we should tell what the prizes are. Yes. See if they even want the prizes. Should I'm, we do that first? I'm sure that they would want. Who does not want a meat pick? Yeah, but well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. okay. So, All right. Do you so want to go first? Sure. Okay. So. My, should I do my question? I'll do my question mm -hmm. and then my prize. So my question is, what is the URL of my 12-week online program that teaches you how to get out of your money BS and step into your purpose mm -hmm. so you can make good money doing what you love? So that's the question. So what's the URL of that course? Mm -hmm. And then my prize is ooh, something shifted <laughs> <laughs> the earth just shifted um then my prize is a free consultation with me which is very expensive so you're gonna you know really get a lot of value so i will sit with you if you're here in wintook i will sit with you or mm -hmm. if you are over the seas someplace and we can always get on um you know technology and talk about what your purpose is, help you to get connected to your purpose or talk to you about what kind of money blocks you've got that you want to, um, you know, just get rid of once and for all or um, whatever you want to talk about, actually. Make, making the impossible possible. Yeah, yes. we could start there. Yes. That's a good place to start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. And so I, I really had to think about this prize for me because my original idea I think was great, but I'd like to add to your to your prize. Um, and so, well, what what do I do? I mean, through through your work, I was really able to embrace the idea of being a creative entrepreneur. And so, I've I've built a company around creativity, Turi Pamoy Design, and um, yeah. And I've I also want to start venturing into doing some more work in my personal capacity. Uh -huh. So, so my prize would be a consultation with me in terms of personal brand development. So I was about to ask my, my question when we got cut off. Um, and so I'll ask it now. Uh, next week, I'll be giving a presentation as part of a panel discussion. And my question is, what is the theme of the panel discussion that I'll be taking part in Ooh. next week, Tuesday? And um, I'm sure if you go onto my Instagram, um, you'll find it there. Um, and while you're on there, I think, I mean, of course, you're, you're on the monochrome page already. That's Got it. it. <laughs> so uh, go check out uh, McCain and all the other amazing drinks that they have. Yeah. Yeah, there's some great, great recipes and video content mm. on there. All right, so Karen, let's talk about, what should we talk about? Creativity. And I think, so many creatives think that they can't live their best creative life and also make money mm -hmm. from doing that. Mm -hmm. um, and so what has been your thinking around creating your Money on Purpose course and seeing sort of the disconnect between creatives and what they think they're worth and what they think they, they work is mm. worth? Yeah. yeah, love it. This is why I created the course, because I've been working with creatives for 20 years now, as you know, a long time. And I'm so tired of people who are so talented, so creative, so amazing, 
stopping themselves from really doing what they want to do because they think they can't make money with it. And I mean, you are a perfect example that that is just BS. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, but it's scary. I know it is scary to go into your creativity and think, how am I gonna make, um, make a living doing this? So I think the mistake that people make is they, they think they've gotta wait to get it all figured out and then go move into it and then, and then you know, see how they're gonna scramble and make money. Mm -hmm. And what I love now is to help people get that money, the money blocks out of their system first or while they're working on doing this you know, change or this creative endeavor. And um, you know, once you've got the mindset right, then everything else can flow. But if you start in one on one path and you're you're trying to do your creative work and then you're you know things are going well, you're gonna sabotage yourself if you don't have your mindset right. Mm -hmm. And that's what I see so much is people sabotaging themselves, doing great things, getting to a certain level, and then you know, hitting sort of a plateau and then sabotaging, unknowingly sabotaging themselves, you know, subconsciously sabotaging themselves. And um, I, I just want to show them how really simple, mm -hmm. it's not always easy, you do have to do some work with it, yeah. you do have to do work with it, yes. but it's very simple how to, um, how to break free of those, of those limiting beliefs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that was the, that's the reason I do it and it's, it's been amazing. I mean, the, the things that people are doing, starting new companies, buying amazing cars, um, you know, Tesla? just... Yeah, yes. somebody did just buy a Tesla in my group, mm -hmm. um, and they didn't think it was possible, but they did. <laughs> wow. And um, you know, buying a house on the beach, and um, uh, you know, just doing work that they love, mm -hmm. quitting, you know, quitting a banking job and moving into life coaching and killing it. Yeah, you know, really doing well. Um, another person getting tens of thousands of dollars just coming in to her life. You know, just kind of. All, all of a sudden, you know, kind of thing. So it's not magic. It's, it's actually just a life. It's, it's a, it's a, you know, it's the way that you think. Yeah. That, that will help you to, to take other action and to do other things. Yeah. I think like mindset is such a. There's so much attached to it, mm. like in the way that, really, this idea of, of what you think is possible in your life. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and I mean, I suppose I, I was one of those. I wouldn't say one of those people. My goodness, that's so um, blamey. No, we've but all been there. Look, yeah. I've been there too. I've been there too. Yeah. So, so tell yeah. us about. I mean, how is it that a girl from corporate Chicago finds herself in in Namibia? Well, I followed my dream. My dream was to live in Africa. I have no idea why. I just, since I was a little girl loved Africa, loved um, the thought of it, loved the animals, loved the nature of it. And I was in commercial real estate for um, 10 years and I was getting, the first seven years I loved, absolutely mm -hmm. loved it. And then I got that, you know, that seven year itch kind of thing mm -hmm. where you're like, you know, there must be more to life. There yeah. must be something more that would feel more fulfilling. And um, I, I literally did what I'm teaching now. Mm -hmm. What I teach people now is how to get out of your way how to get out of your own way, how to be courageous, how to clear out the limiting beliefs um, that are in your system, and just go for it. And so I resigned, I moved to Africa, I moved to Namibia, and um, here I am uh, doing you know, creative work that I never, I never imagined that I would be doing. But I love it, because yeah. I get to meet amazing people like you. Thank you. It's mm. remarkable. I, I mean, I... I always think about your journey and just like as a reminder of I think what is possible because people like hearing those stories um, just sort of this idea that the again like this this idea that things things would be impossible for me and and, and hearing them from, from the horse mm -hmm. as well yeah, yeah. um yeah mm. this looks so refreshing look at this so this you, is this is my my rooibos tea. So before the show, I did a little brewing of the tea so it'd be ready and cooled it down and everything. And you know, here's my my rooibos tea. And then you just add the McCain mixer, um, the dry lemon mm -hmm. with some ice and a little um, lemon wedge. Look how I put that on so artfully. 
and you being the creative aesthetic queen. I hope that's suitable for you. And then I like to do, I like to add a little bit of, a little extra, just because I am a little extra. <laughs> a little, a little extra, extra on top, and there you go. I feel like this I'm gonna give you this one, though. this first one. Thank yeah, we you. do need some more ice, don't we? It's hot here, you guys. It is so hot, I can't wait to get that, that cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in here and just. Uh, oh, we, here, are we doing like a little, a little uh, display. Okay. And what gave you so much courage to do the things that you're doing, Tanya? How are you doing? I mean, you, you first tell the people what you do. You do so much. I, I can't I even so like much. keep up with you. <laughs> I, I have a hard time um, describing what I do. So that's a that's brand a challenge good sign. for me. You know what, that's a good sign in my book because I believe everybody should have something that, that they do that is so unique to them mm -hmm. that it actually doesn't exist anywhere else. So it only right. exists within you. So there shouldn't already be a label yeah. for it. Yeah. So I love that. Bring, bring with yeah. So I like to call myself a creative thinker, maker, and doer. Mm. That um, sounds accurate. Yeah. So I'm a, I'm a multidisciplinary designer. Mm -hmm. uh, so really, I, I do graphic design. Recently, I've um, been getting into production design for cinema, mm -hmm. which um, you cool. won some awards for. Yes. Yeah. Hashtag Bahu and the Giants. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Um, which is oh, that's amazing. Beautiful. That looks really good. Um, yeah. So courage. Wow. That is. Uh, that's a tough question because I don't think you can ever really be ready mm -hmm. for what it is that you maybe see yourself doing. You just have mm -hmm. to, and I know that that sounds cliche, like you just have to go for it. But I think, um, and that's what I love about your working with you and, and your teachings is that you, you give really practical tools about how to go about that. Yeah. And I don't believe in just go for it, actually, as yeah. you know. I don't believe in, um, uh, you know, doing, <laughs> I don't believe in making people do things before they're ready and, mm -hmm. and telling people to do things before they're ready. Um, so I love to give practical tools that you just, one day you feel ready, mm -hmm. right? And is that what happened? You feel, you felt ready and you just yeah, I did took that, that took step. The baby steps and... Um, yeah, should we do a little swap? Yeah, I, I, um, I did the baby steps, I did the work, and the opportunity presented itself, and I, I went with it. Mm -hmm. And that, I mean, th that's a few things. That's going to live in Berlin as an artist. Mm -hmm. That is presenting on the TEDx stage. Um, that's that's yeah. opening my company. That's doing this, because <laughs> this is also like, I mean, and going on yeah. Ellen. And going I on mean, Ellen. <laughs> all of that stuff was once a dream, and now, and now sure. it is I'm getting notes real. From the side. So, Ooh. can I? Don't you want to put this as a garnish somehow? Oh. <laughs> By the way, but can I just say that this recipe says half a pineapple for one drink? For two. Well. So, okay. <laughs> don't you want to <laughs> do what the recipe says? Let's see. I'm, I'm just going to double check. It says, <laughs> legit guys, it says half a pineapple. Okay. So there you go. I okay. told you this is extra. Yes. This shows a little extra. Yes. So I'm going to try this one. I'm going to drink that. Mm. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> we'll go ahead. This. I've got the winners. <gasps> the winners? The winners. We got some winners. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I've got a question. There's a question oh. as well. <laughs> Wait, let's first cheers. Also, I'm getting the, mm. the non-alcoholic drink, but it's fine. No, I can look. No, I'll, I want to drink this. Okay, though. cheers. Here's to, cheers. Here's to making impossible possible. Yes. All of the time. And here's to Ellen. And here's to Ellen. Yes. Ellen. Mm. I feel like Ellen mm. should be on the this McCain so mixer nice. show. Yeah, well, yeah. invite her on. Mm -hmm. Invite her on. That is so yum. Wow. I love the mint. Mm -hmm. I love mint. How's this Come one? Here, boss. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. I'm actually really thirsty, so I'm just gonna take <laughs> a moment. 
and, we're just uh, gonna enjoy ourselves and here with this. Our, yeah. <laughs> and drink it like down it. I'm just gonna mm. position this lemon slightly here so I can. Oh, okay. So you can like really give it a good mm -hmm. swig. <laughs> Guzzle it. Good thing that's the non-alcoholic one. Yes, that is good. That is delicious. We'll put that here. Okay, so who's the winner? Who's the winner? Karen's winner is. How do I say that second name? Marika Kutte de Jager on Facebook. So mm -hmm. Marika, yeah, Marika, you are the, the lucky winner. Yay. Sounds like she might be in Namibia. Yes. With her name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay, cool. cool. And then a question, which I think is a really good one. Yeah. Um, what are some of the first steps that we can take to change our mindsets about money? Mmm. Well. Take notes, guys. I've got something really practical. I mean, we, we can talk about it, but I've got something really practical that people can do, and that mm. is to log on to my website and get a free course that has 11 money blocks that you're probably doing. Did you do my free course? Did you do that? Yes. Did, were there done any, one of your courses. Were there <laughs> any, did you have any money blocks? There's 11 like <laughs> astounding ones that people can't believe that they have, but they have. Mm -hmm. um, and that one's, it's free. It's like a little workshop that you do in your pajamas at home, in your bed. You know, you don't have to go anywhere. Um, so that's one way to, to take some practical steps. Mm -hmm. And I think first is to see where you are, where are you suffering? Your first steps is to know is, is awareness. You know, where, are you, where do you feel that you're suffering with, with in, in money? Mm -hmm. So what's, you know, just to get some awareness first. Um, and um, some practical things like, uh, if you see, what do you do if you see a, a little five cent coin on the ground? Well, do you pick I've, it out of the way? Do you pick it up? Do I've you... started doing that since taking your course. Yes, and yes. is money just like coming to you? You know, I've had this week. I had. Um, I mean, and, and this is this is how it comes. I um, I had two projects that I didn't know about. Mm -hmm. That just someone emailed me and they're like, "Hey, we need you to do this. Can you do it?" Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Yes, invoice. Send the invoice." Yeah. And the, the other one was about two weeks ago, um, which was also for, I mean, it was work related, mm -hmm. but it was um, some prize money. Hey, hey. Yes. Well done. Some prize money. Yeah. But yeah, I think sometimes it's, you know, it's, it's the small things and it's the big things. So this mm. idea of coming across a five cent coin, I mean, that's... And picking it up. Yes. You know, picking it up and, and feeling grateful for it. Because honestly, you have to start with what you have. Mm -hmm. I think that's actually the first step, is to start with what you have and be grateful for it. If you're not grateful for what you have, even if it's a small amount of money, then um, life cannot find ways to give you more. It gets very difficult for, for ways for more to come in if you don't see what you already have. Yeah. So I would say that that's the first way, um, is to really be appreciative. Like when I pay my bills, mm -hmm. I do it with joy. I honestly am so happy. I like, you know, do my EFTs on my computer. I put, I've got this little heart, this little like metallic heart that I put up and I put on some music and I pay my bills with gratitude that yeah. I'm able to pay my bills. So how many people pay their bills with, you know, oh. grudgery and feeling like, horrible mm -hmm. and feeling upset about it? How about feeling grateful for paying your bills that's a really good place to start yeah. being grateful for whatever you've got being grateful for your ability to pay for whatever you can um, and noticing how life is already putting abundance in your path yeah in lots of different ways wow. and I think it's also like there's so much um, I wanted to chat a little bit about the idea of I mean we touched on mindset earlier but also this idea of how you feel the feeling of it because mm -hmm. i think sometimes we want to make so many decisions with a logical mind yeah. um and so much of it is, is attached more to the emotions of it and mm -hmm. you know this this idea of like how we feel about money and if if you're in a a state of gratitude like much like i am for this experience with mccain like yeah. and, and being able to spend time with you that I feel like I can share my energy from from a point of gratitude, yeah. and that that makes it feel authentic. 
Mm. And that allows more experiences of this kind, Ellen, <coughs> to, <laughs> to come my way. Absolutely. And that's how it works. That's really how it works. It's aligning with, you know, getting out of your head, first of all, get mm. out of your head, like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? How am I going to make more money? How am I going to, you know, do this thing I want to do? Get out of your head and get into your body. Mm -hmm. And don't, didn't you find that your body really um, guided you to take a next step? or to say yes to something or to mm. say no to something. Yeah. And if you if you listen from from here to here mm -hmm. <laughs> or even in the gut here, yeah. if you listen to your body here, it will tell you yes or it will tell you no. Yeah. Kind of like that, you know, when you were little you played that warmer colder game. Mm -hmm. So if something feels cold or constricting, don't go that way. Rather yeah. turn and go towards what makes you feel expansive what makes you feel joyful mm -hmm. because that is where life wants you actually to go and that's where it'll take care of you I mean you know you're such a great example of that you know you 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 wanted to start your own company you stepped out and you started doing taking these little steps and you've created so much more in the process from what you originally wanted to do yeah. so many more opportunities came your way because you were just sitting in um, enjoyment mm -hmm. and gratitude yeah. So that's really, it's, see how simple it is? It's so simple. I think we, we want to complicate it logically. Yeah. It's like, oh, it the head doesn't make sense. Yeah. And, um, yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. My question? Um, okay, so I'm gonna repeat my question. Yes. Thank you, mm -hmm. behind the scenes awesome people for <laughs> reminding me. Um, so my question is, next week I'll be giving a panel discussion you know I'm, I'm attracting public speakers because she is just doing it all you're doing all the things all the things yeah i'll be i'll, I'll be taking part in a panel discussion so my question is what is the title of that panel discussion next week tuesday yeah the title of the panel discussion and mm -hmm. can you say where it is uh, just to give us a hint can a you give hint? us like a little hint you can go onto my instagram my okay. instagram profile which is at tanya turi and uh if you look you know, if you look there, you'll find it. You'll so, find it. Okay. Yes. If you look, All right. you'll find. if you look, you will find. Yes. Yes. That's yes. true. That's if true. you ask a question, you will get an answer. Mm -hmm. If you say, I'm stuck, I don't know, then you stay stuck and you don't know. And life says, yes, it's true. But if you say, I would like to find out, how can I find out mm -hmm. what my purpose is? What's my next step? If you ask questions, then you can get answers. I need to come see you again. Yeah, yes. a little refresher. A little, a little refresher. refresher. Post, post we'll, we'll make We'll make some more McCain yes. mixers. So I want to try this one. This because, one is um, really, really nice. With a double shot of gin. Double shot mm -hmm. of gin, okay. Yeah. yeah, cheers. 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 Okay, let's let's mm -hmm. try this. I saw your little mint action there. The mint, <laughs> there's no way around it. There's, how do you, you've got to put a strainer on it. <laughs> strainer. What Wait, you, you are asking how what are you this supposed is to do this for? daintily? Like this is yeah, I was wondering what that was okay. for. So, um, yeah, but it's very nice, but there's no way around. Ooh. Like, is, do I have some in my teeth? <laughs> no, I would tell you if you had mint in your teeth on live TV, because, you know, for friends. Mm -hmm. You see. I like how the. The flavor profile is really different. Mm-hmm. And it's so aesthetically pleasing next to each other, aren't they? I'm gonna park it right hands. here. Do you hear me giving hints? Oh <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Giving hints to the Yes, give, giving hints to, giving to, hints the, to the people. To the it's so aesthetically pleasing. Yes. These two things together because of the contrast. Oh, which brings up another little topic mm -hmm. of creating abundance. Yeah. And um, stepping into your purpose is using contrast as a tool. Mm -hmm. So if you've got, you know, what I don't like, I don't know what I want. If you say what I Ooh. don't want, everybody can do that. Yeah. Who can't say what they don't want? Come on. I think right? It's that and then it's, you do like an opposite. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. so often we feel really, we feel overwhelmed. It's like, mm -hmm. I, you know, how do I create this life that I want? Or yes, I know I want to to do something different, but I don't know exactly what it is. I yeah. can't. I can't label it and say, "Oh, I want to go be a graphic designer, mm -hmm. or I want to be uh, a writer or a model." Or you, you can't label it. No. But you're often able to say what it is 
that you that you don't want to feel exactly. or experience and and through that gain clarity yeah 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 contrast contrast is a good thing yeah. so find where you're that's why I said to find where you're in pain so you can see what you want in the place of that mm -hmm. yeah and I remember you said and I love this find out like what you love to do and I remember asking you what you love to do like way back I think in the artist's way workshop yeah and you just you just I said what are your interests and you said <laughs> do you remember I love topography yeah and I was like what's topography like what I didn't even know that. what's topography and you're like I love I love fonts mm -hmm. I love like having books of different fonts and I was like okay I mean, I was fascinated. Not that I, I thought I, I was fascinated with it, but that shows when you just start taking like just things that you're interested in that really light you up. Mm -hmm. Life can use that, and like, okay, she likes fonts, she likes aesthetics, she likes, you know, graphics, she likes, and then you can put this stuff together into an amazing career, yeah. like you've done. And I like to say even a lifestyle, mm -hmm. not a career, because our career is just one part of our our life. Yeah. I love to look at life as a whole entire lifestyle. You know, our, our lifestyle is a whole entire like like a sphere instead of a pie. Mm -hmm. Like, don't cut your. I think if you if you stop cutting your life into pie into pie slices and saying, well, I'm this way here and I'm this way here and when I'm you know when I'm at home I'm like this when I'm at work I'm like this when I'm with my friends I'm like this. Mm -hmm. Rather just be like, who am I really? Like, who am I authentically mm -hmm. all the time? And focus on who that person is and then you can really create an amazing lifestyle like you've created, like I've created. Like my lifestyle is is just everywhere I look, it's 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 who I am. Yeah. You know, I don't have to It's not section. it's not separate. Yeah. yeah. Like do you find yeah. that you have to se separate yourself when you're doing something? No. Anywhere in your life. It's no. just all you. Yeah. And I think that that's when things are in flow that that, that is really what what it is about yeah. and it's I mean I know that we're making it sound a little bit woo woo and a bit easy you know like oh this this yeah. is so easy to just do and it it isn't it's not. it's not it's actually gonna it's actually gonna beat your butt yeah at certain points if you go for your dreams I'll tell you right now it's going to kick your butt yeah is this PG or R rated? Can, Can I drop F bombs? <laughs> no, that's not. That's not. <laughs> it's gonna kick your yeah. Yeah. if you do it. So, just, so just you know, you, nothing that's worthwhile comes easily. So you do have to put some skin in the game, as you know. Mm -hmm. There have been ups and downs, and oh yeah. I mean, I can remember with my own journey too, just at certain points you're just like, you know what, I've had enough of this. Mm -hmm. I actually can't do this anymore. Yeah. And then you go to sleep because you're tired. And you wake up the next day and you're like, I can't wait to do this. I gotta go do this again. Yeah. I feel like we should do this again. Yeah. More. Yeah, there's always, yeah. there's always like, um, there's always, I, I, I think of growth, mm -hmm. not like this, not even like this, mm -hmm. but I think of growth as like a, um, a spiral, you know, where we, where we spiral through growth periods. And then we always have to kind of spiral back and sort of learn some things that we didn't quite get 100%. Oh, yes. Is that, is that ringing a bell? Ringing a bell. <laughs> um, so, you know, it, it's, not, it's not linear. Mm -hmm. It really is a, it's a messy kind of thing, but it's always trending upwards. It's yeah. always trending improvement. And it's always trending fulfillment. Yeah. yeah. And that's why, like, I'm... I mean, and I'll share now that I'm so, I'm so grateful that I'm alive. Like, I think, and I don't think we forget, um, it's like this idea that you're, you're having a human experience here mm -hmm. and that you get to do that. And, and I think that that's remarkable. Yeah. Like we were included in this whole, yeah. whatever this is, and I don't pretend to know what it is, yeah. this whole life thing, but we were included in it. I think it's kind of special. Like we're, we're ingredients like- Like who, me? Yes. You included, included me in, in, this? in this drink of life. <laughs> so. Yeah, that was the McCain Mixer show, guys. I we have to go home now. We have. To, well, I'm not going. Oh home. no, I'm actually I'm, going I'm to a party this, after this. I'm going and, to a birthday uh, party after this. <laughs> <laughs> taking this with me. Thank you so much, Karen mm -hmm. Powell. Oh, thank you. So fun for thank sharing you. your your life's purpose and your life's work mm -hmm. with me. And um, 
with our friends on, well, this will be on YouTube uh, and Ellen. And um, uh, yeah, so th thank you for that. And um, yeah, I thank appreciate you. it. Thank yeah. you. I just have one request. Yes. I haven't asked for much. Okay. When you're on Ellen, mm -hmm. can you just bring me along? You'll have to be can like, the, you'll have to be like the second, not the second person we bring out. That sounded oh. so wrong. Um, that sounded like, really wrong. <laughs> You'd have to, you know how she always gives a prize? You'd be the prize. Okay, yes. the, you've, rede you've redeemed yourself. <laughs> you guys watch this space because this girl makes things happen. Thank you. You speak life into your, your things. So I can't wait. That's going to happen. All right. I'll hold you. Are you going to dance with salsa? Ellen? Salsa? Maybe. Oh, that's right. She does salsa too. Yes. <laughs> should, we, should, should we end it with a little salsa? We'll end it with okay. a little I don't know. Salsa. I don't know salsa, but I'll just I don't follow think you can see from here. No. And by right. the way, we did not plan our we didn't plan this. Our monochrome Monocrome. outfits. Yes. Yes. Cool. So All right, that guys. is that's that. Have a great weekend. Um, and whatever it is you're doing, stay safe. Bye bye. <laughs>